Hi there. I watched the Kodak Row movie last Sunday, and there was a very interesting line by Benjamin Ryder, the photographer in the movie. He said, the digital photography is like fake boobs. They look very nice, but it's not real. And it's not the first time that I hear that somebody says that digital photography is not real. They think that photography, film photography, is the only real thing because there's a physical object, there's a piece of film or a print that can be held in your hand. And that's, that's why it's only real thing. And digital is only data. I disagree strongly on this, on this opinion because to me it doesn't matter how we collect the scene in our camera, if, it, if it's digital or film, I think they're both real photography. They still need, the both methods still needs the same uh, effort on taking the, or making the photograph. That hasn't changed. It doesn't matter if you have film in your camera or a digital sensor in the back. It doesn't matter. It, it's still the same process making the photograph. And of course, the afterwards, the process is a little different, but I don't think that matters at all. Now, I have a book that's a, it's, it's in, it's in Finnish. It's a, it's a series of books that has, and there are collections of essays about photography. And there is one article that was written by Alfred Stieglitz in 1897. And it actually tackles the same thing that I was just addressing about what is real photography is what is not. At the time when Alfred Stieglitz wrote this article on the American Annual of Photography, as I said, 1897, so that's a long time ago. And if you don't know who Alfred Stieglitz is, I sincerely recommend to Google him. Right after you've subscribed, liked and commented on my video, then go to Google and Google Alfred Stieglitz. And in this article, he says that or, or explains that um, at the time, that was the time about 10 years after Kodak had invented the brownie. And uh, real photographers at the time, or, or what they thought that they were the only real photographers, they had the big cameras on a tripod and handheld cameras. They weren't real cameras. It wasn't real photography. Yeah, sound familiar? And, um, and they said, and I quote on the article here, Every Tom, Dick and Harry could, without trouble, learn how to get something or other on a sensitive plate. And this is what the public wanted. No work and lots of fun. And this is exactly the same thing that had been said about mobile photography. It's not hard work. You just snap it away and you just take pictures and not make them anymore. And it's so funny that... Um, at the time, in 1897, they had the same problems. They said that photography was ruined because everybody could take photographs. Sounds familiar. And um, there's a picture in the article right there that was um, taken by Alfred Stieglitz. And it's, uh, the name of the picture is Winter on Fifth Avenue. And Stieglitz took the picture with a handheld camera and he waited for three hours for the composition to be perfect. And when he showed the picture, to his colleagues, and I quote what the co and, and the colleague said, and I quote: "Why it is even sharp, and he wants to use it for an enlargement." Sounds familiar. I've heard that many times when people are talking about Instagram. So, how Instagram is bad at ruining your photographs because because you cannot make big prints out of it. And what's really kind of like uh, funny: the photography goes on, and photographers are still looking back to the old world like they did in 1897 and they still do if they think that film is the only real photograph i think they should wake up it's not digital is photography and it's getting better and getting stronger all right bye for now i'll be back